Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Hello everyone, and welcome to Gone Home. Uh, I'm not sure what the game's all about. Uh, I just know that I got it, I think for free, on the PlayStation Store. I don't know when, I don't think it's this month's free game. But it's supposed to be really interesting. Alright. Let's take a look around everywhere. Uh, what's uh, over here? Grab cup. So press X. Press X. Press L2 and this thing to examine the cup. Oh, okay. Use the right stick to rotate. Alright. Yep, that's a cup, alright. Good job with that. That is most certainly a cup. What's over here? I can't see anything. It's like really dark. Oh, there we go. Lamp. Christmas duck. A key! Hey! Look at that. What's that? Five ninety-nine. Five dollars and ninety-nine cents for the duck. The Christmas, the good old Christmas duck. All right. House key. I guess, I guess the house is blocked. Press L two to check the contents of your backpack. Oh, that's cool. And passport. It's my passport. I got it on my trip to Europe. This is my boarding pass back from my year in Europe. Well, all right then. Let's just say, Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland, Flight 270, June 6, 1995. Coolio. Let's just go inside the house then. Oh, there's a note here. Hold on. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you. Ooh. Hey, you stop that. So is this a horror game? That's something to be interesting. Read the invoice. Wellspring Movers Incorporated, invoice. Terrence Greenbrier, 1888 Dry Creek Road. Forest Grove, OR 97116. Destination, Terrence Greenbrier, One Arbor Hill, Boone County. I guess that's Orlando, 97141. Descriptive list of shipment content. Eight boxes for kitchen, five boxes for the master bed, child bed. I'm not reading all of that. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, mm. but I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Yeah, you go, girl. Ain't nothing gonna stop your shine. Open sliding door. Is there a light in here I can use? A light switch? There we go, light switch. Sweet, I can see. Anything in this I need to look at? No? Okay. Look it over here. There's a magazine. Author magazine. 50 contests with up to 50 contests with up to 21,000 in prizes. Stephen King. Hey. My main man with the master plan. The grand poobah. Cleansing powder. How do I need this? Vax. Cleansing powder. Whatever. I turn the scene off. I probably shouldn't do that. Okay, let's just keep going. Is there like a light switch or something I can turn on over here? Nope. Okay. So there's a lamp there, though. Lamps are always useful to turn on. Open the door. Anything? Nope. Okay. What about here? There's a note here. Directions to work from new house. Left on grab sheet. Right on bolt. You shut up, Zeus. I will have none of this. Store open. Hello there, menacing closet. 
school. Dekelma County Forestry Service, Janice Greenbar, Senior Conservationist. Okay. Front Hall. Goodfellow High School. Oh, okay. Close that door. Close the door. I want all doors to be closed after I've left that room. And I'm going to go up there last. Because holy crap is that creepy. What's in here? Lamp, lamp, lamp. What are you? It's a phone. Messages. Lamp. Aha. There we go. Sam. Sam. It's three messages. Hello. Sam. No. Fuck off. one hi mom uh, so i got my ticket home from europe i get back on june 6th but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest so it gets in at midnight mm. but don't worry i'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up like really seriously you don't have to we've heard that already sam daniel from the old neighborhood called he wants to come see the new house call him back mom daniel is a total weirdo the only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Yeah, Mom. Daniel had a Nintendo. He was the cool kid. Hey, picking the thing. Read itinerary. Why? Well, that was... <laughs> that was some itinerary. Sorry about that, guys. Having a bit of an allergy problem today. Hey, that's dark. I can't see anything down that hallway. Ooh, hey, you stop that. That light is blinking, which signifies a ghost. Press the touchpad or triangle to check your location in the house. Oh, hallway. Ooh, another closet. What's in here? Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Psycho house. Great. What does that mean? Okay, well, you know, I didn't stop because I thought there would be a thing there. I stopped because I heard voices. What is that? I'm not reading that note now. It's ruined it. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including eating Le Petit de Chagne. I can't speak French, so sorry about that. And wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company, since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. Oh, okay. So there's the thing. Put it back. An obituary, don't care, pack of cards, I'll grab it. Just in case is the thing. I'll let you guys read that. I don't really want to read it. Grab photo. Oh. Looks like somebody was in the army. I think. Air Force or something. What was that? You, uh... Trying to do something there? A little bit of sawing? That's what it sounded like to me. I could be wrong, but... God, I hate these dark rooms. So freaking creepy. Jesus. Alright. What do we got? What's in the drawers? Let's find out. Uh, nothing. Nothing there. My phone just went off. I need that for time. 
cell phone. Stop that. Uh, it's a Pioneer CLD. Wait a minute. Why is that $999.99? What the? What? No. That's expensive. Unless it, like, plays records, CDs, and Blu-ray. Oh, wait. This probably doesn't have Blu-ray this time. So, unless it plays, like, records, CDs, and mixtapes. I need to drop a mixtape. I'm going to turn that lamp on. Ah, nice and light. I like it. Combination. Okay. So is it on the book? The Killing of JFK. A theory. You've seen the movie. Discover the truth. What if I don't want to discover the truth? Yeah, whatever. I don't care. What's in here? Then form. Crestwell and Trans Agency Incorporated the Electrical Inspection Form. The wiring in the house is technically up to all safety and amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added into the structure over the last 100 years. The system is frequently unpredictable, lights blink out for no clear reason, pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts, circuits wired directly behind the surface. Properly reworking the electrical systems would be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and fixtures of the structure. After discussion with Mr. Greenbrier, since there are no current safety concerns, these issues will not be addressed. Harold Price Jr., Black Cat Electrical Company. Okay. That's interesting. Ooh, there's a door thing here. There's nothing there, though. Eh, sure, why not? Ooh, light, 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 light. Okay. Ooh, it's a library. I don't like this. Or a study, I guess really hear the uh, noise out there now. Okay. Oh, it's a dead-end library hall. I don't like that. Grab book. A stranger under my roof. Understanding teens. Okay. We're not that hard to understand. We just don't want to live. We hate being alive. Dear Terence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations of your childhood. David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again, then everybody will be happy. Britt Kerwood, Reviews Editor, Home Theater Aficionado Magazine. Sorry about that, guys. Zero four five one. Hey, it's probably the combination. But we're gonna find out what's in that safe in the next episode, guys. If you liked the video, please leave a like and a comment down below, and do not forget to subscribe. Cue the outro. <laughs>